Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today's special guest is Mr. Hardianto Sunoto. Mr. Sunoto is based in Indonesia. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. He started trading the stock market in 2009 after the subprime mortgage crisis. In 2011, he was introduced to the Forex market and immediately fell in love with it. He is currently an independent trader with the ForexAllStars.com, which I recommend that you check out. His, an his analysis of the market is technical with Elliott Wave Theory, Fibonacci, and Classical Chart Patterns as his favorite tools. Hardianto's Twitter handle is at Trader underscore Hardy. So, Mr. Hardianto Sunoto, welcome to Looking at the Markets. Thank you, David, for having me on. It is absolutely a pleasure to have you here. Uh, now, your past performance is really impressive. Uh, you know, people put their money into the S&P 500 and hope for 10 or maybe, if they're lucky, 15% in a year. Uh, but looks like, according to this uh, chart here that you've got up on the screen, that you're making uh, a lot more than that. Uh, can you tell us about our performance, about your performance over the last year? Yeah, um, uh, the last year I've been making um, um, close to 50% of my accounts. So um, I've been approaching the markets in the forex. I trade the forex market, and uh, I use Elliott Wave mostly to trade it. So I really pick up, uh, pick my entry. A really great entry that it has a high probability probability with a really great risk reward for me. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, look, I mean, fifty percent in a year returns. That's that's really fantastic. Um, and uh, again, I recommend people check out uh, that's forexallstars.com, and the links to all these will be in the description. Uh, of this video. Uh, but before we get to check out the rest of the website, uh, I want to see how you're getting these kinds of returns you're getting. And uh, sure. I understand today, me... today we'll be talking about Elliott, Elliott Wave Theory in particular and uh, mm -hmm. how you can ride the Elliott Wave for big profits like you've been getting. Uh, so do you have any uh, charts yeah. you'd like to show us today? Uh, before we start, uh, can I show um, some of the statements so we can look at um, how I um... Yeah. I get all the returns. Yeah, so Absolutely. people can look at it. Yeah, so as you can see, um, I have um, I have more profits than loss in my account. So uh, if if um, if we're trading, uh, we really need to pick our entry. So uh, once we get it, um, a really good entry, you know, you can um, you can surf the uh, surf the market. You, you just leave your position on, you know, and then you can get uh, more profit uh, with a great risk reward. Instead of um, just get just getting into the market, just to get in the market, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're all going to take losses sometimes, but when your profits are uh, much more consistent and bigger than your losses, and I'm I'm looking at you know right right here on your statement, mm -hmm. uh, you have a few small losses, and you have a lot of uh, you know much bigger uh, profits in there, and it looks like That's right. it looks it looks like you're you're using the uh, time tested technique. Of uh, letting your winners run and cutting your losses short, would that be correct? That's right. I always put my stop loss, but I usually leave my um, target uh, target profit empty until like the last moment, or uh, I move my stop loss and then let let the market hit the stop loss to make me to make me get out of the market. Yeah, and is that mm -hmm. is that a hard stop loss that you uh, and and profit target that you de determine before you place the trade? Uh, yes, that's right. Okay, and uh, that, that really is a great way to do it uh, before you place the trade, not after. You don't want to just guess and uh, wing it, as they say. <laughs> That's right. You need, a, you need a really good plan before you go into the market, you know, because once you go in, all your emo emotions are going to take over, and then you're, yep. you're not going to be thinking logical anymore. That but is, the yeah. thing is, the market's been really good the last 12 months. I only have, like, the worst drawdown that I have is only, like, 2%. But... Uh, before, I mean, the, like over the last couple of years, my worst drawdowns is almost like ten percent of my account. So yeah, yeah, you can't really you can't really expect the market is going to be good all the time. So that's why you need to prepare with all the plans with the with the hard stop loss and everything too. You know, I'm so glad you're you're showing not just the good days but the tough days. 
uh, because mm -hmm. anybody who comes on the you know goes into a chat room or or makes a YouTube video claiming that they don't take any losses uh, they're lying okay so just to let you know <laughs> people out there that's um, right you know yeah we all take losses but yeah uh, I, I've even blown an account before you know so yeah okay. uh, trading, yeah trading is I mean if you never lose in the market you know it's kind of hard to believe yeah yeah I, I, mean, I don't believe anybody yeah, it's, not, it's not impossible but you know still Based on my experience, right, right. Any active trader is going to take losses. Uh, that that's just the way it is. Uh, unless you're just buying and holding the S and P five hundred for twenty or thirty years, then you might not take a loss. <laughs> but for everybody else, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but if you're an active trader uh, and you you want to beat the market, which uh, Mr. Sinoto is doing very consistently. All right. So people are probably wondering, how the heck do you do this with uh, Elliott waves? So, uh, so how do you do it? Mm -hmm. So um, I use um, when I started trading. Um, I only use the basic technical and uh, you know and um, Fibonacci, whatever I can learn from the books. But um, over the time, uh, I met a really great mentor that, that taught me um, how to use Alt Wave. Uh, it's not really a, it's not a really precise predictor on how how to trade the market. I mean, having a roadmap is really good, but at the at the end, um, the driver is the key, you know. Uh, Elite Wave can show you the direction of the move and everything, but uh, like driving, navigating the turns and the hazards um, are really important. Yeah. So Elite Wave can can give you the the roadmaps, and then and after that we really need to um, apply the technical analysis that we know to pick a really good entry with a great risk reward too. Okay. And by the mm -hmm. way, this is this is a. Uh, I, I know you're uh, a forex trader mainly, but I know yes. that that this can also be done, and you have done it quite successfully with uh, stocks, options, and and things like that. Correct. Correct. Uh, you can use Elliott Wave in um, all um, in all instruments as long as you have the charts. So um, right. the the basic knowledge you can still apply it. Um, I only show it in forex as I mostly trade forex, uh, forex now. But I have used it for before for uh, for stocks too. Okay. Okay. So let let's talk about the details, the specifics. Uh, how do you find your your points for entry, exit, that kind of thing? Okay. So the basic theory of Elliott Elliot wave is that you have a impulse wave and then the corrective wave. The impulse impulse waves um, is always in five wave, uh, five waves. So when you break it down, you will see five uh, movement to the top or down. And after that, you have a three-wave correction. So, um, for my, uh, for me myself, um, I only, I mostly trade in the impulse direction. So I know it's uh, the fastest moving wave. That way, so I usually um, enter my position when I do a count. Uh, it's also one, two, three, four, and five, as seen is in this uh, monthly USDN charts. So I mostly trade in the wave three or wave five um, direction, because we know that. Um, in Elite Wave, uh, Wave Three is always the most impulsive wave, so it's it's really going in the direction of the of the trend and it's really moving fast. So you can take profit uh, really fast with a really great risk reward. Okay, so, so, so um, just, yeah. just to go back, um, so this is the the U.S. dollar against the Japanese yen, correct? That's right. And mm -hmm. uh, and so you say there are five waves. Um, so if somebody was looking, is is that the number? I see a bunch of numbers, a bunch of letters. Where, where are the five waves exactly? Okay, so uh, this is, uh, you can see the small wave one, and then a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this five wave uh, makes one big wave uh, up. So uh, in elite wave, it's a fractal system. So every five wave make, uh, makes one one impulse wave. Got it. Okay. So mm -hmm. within every uh, so a fractal, meaning that you've uh, you've got a big wave that is consisting of lots of little waves. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. That's correct. And even the small wave, you can break it down again to a smaller wave. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so let's see. So you got five waves composing one big wave, and then I see a mm -hmm. a, a, a blue line there. What does that mean? Uh, that's just a resistance I draw from a um, basic technical, so I just draw a resistance uh, trend line for this. But uh, as you can see, after we make a five wave up, we're making a five wave, uh, three wave down. Sorry. Uh, so we have A, B, and C. In in elite wave, uh, we 
for the corrective wave, we always use the, uh, the letter in the, instead of the number. So we have um, A, B, C right. down. And then even if I show you this, if I do um, a Fibonacci of the five, uh, we can see the the wave C stops at the 50% of the retracement. Okay, okay. And okay. Uh, that's that's interesting. I, I see those retracement numbers in uh, in Fibonacci's a lot. Um, so is that? But that's also part of Elliott wave theory as well. Correct. So Elliott waves uh, rely on Fibonacci also because we use them Fibonacci levels to determine our uh, uh, target level for the, for the retracement and for the target profit if it goes up. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. What else? Okay. So. Um, so we finish five waves up and then three waves down, right? So uh, the next one should be another five waves, uh, five waves up. So we, uh, if we do a counting, uh, we have one and then two already. So if we break this trend line resistance, uh, it's confirming that we have a uh, three wave, uh, wave three right now. So this thing is going higher. Interesting. Okay, because if I looked at that uh, resistance line, the blue line that you mm -hmm. drew. I would think maybe it's not going to go higher. Uh, so what what really makes you feel? What confirms it for you in this scenario that it's going to go higher? Uh, assuming this uh, low on wave two holds, this one and uh, the one I'm showing right now. Yeah. Assuming this still holds, uh, so if the next move doesn't break this, uh, we can assume that wave two is done. So no matter what uh, the uh, whatever happen, uh, this thing is going to break the trend line and going go up to to form uh wave three okay. of the move mm -hmm. talk okay okay and uh wave three should be part of a another five wave cycle is that correct correct that's okay. right okay <laughs> even even i can understand that so that means you're doing a good job if if i can understand it anybody can understand it <laughs> so uh <laughs> all, all right, right good so now, I'm, now, I'm... now what if it doesn't go up you know because nobody you know there's no perfect system if it goes against mm -hmm. you uh, do you have a stop loss in place here of course, uh, the, the like I said, the law of the wave two over here, the the law, uh, it should be your stop loss if you're going uh, if you're going long, right. because uh, assuming assuming this is uh, the end of the wave two already, it shouldn't break. But if it does break, uh, it means uh, it has two possibility. It's either wave two is not done yet, as so as long as the wave C bottom is not uh, broken, it's still forming the wave two. It's still finishing the wave two. Okay. And it ha it still has the possibility to go up for uh, for wave two, uh, three later on. Gotcha. And uh, in mm -hmm. case in case we didn't say it already, this is a monthly chart. Each candlestick represents Correct. one month, one month of price action. And so you're thinking very long term, and you're being very patient with your trades. It sounds like. No, um, I use um, a really big time frame to determine my uh, my main trend. Okay. So the way I trade, yeah. So uh, I usually look at the monthly. And I go down to weekly, daily, and then uh, four hour or even one hour charts. But I know what uh, I, from the monthly charts or the weekly charts, I know which direction I want to take. So this uh, eliminates, eliminates the noises in my trading. Because uh, if you look at uh, like a smaller time frame charts, they're going to have a lot of noise. It's going up and down. You know, if you look, if you just look at it, you can't even um, see the big trend clearly. So that's uh, what I, from my experience, that's usually what's mess up uh, like the trading for some of the new traders sure. because they can't determine the main uh, the main trend for it so they're just trading on what they see like say the last two days or three days right and then yeah and then they usually uh, have a lot of losses instead of, instead of the profits because they're trying to trade all the trends gotcha they're not looking mm -hmm. at the big picture which is that's what right you're doing yeah and that's why you look mm -hmm. at uh, many time frames Cool. So, is, is there anything else uh, with this chart, or are we going to move on to the next one? Uh, yeah, because um, uh, with this chart, uh, I'm pretty much done. So, as long um, after we break the trend line, um, it's really a great time to go along for USDN. Got it. Because um, yeah, because uh, we're, if we're forming wave three, and then if it breaks the top of the wave one, uh, we're not pre pretty sure that it's going to make wave uh, wave waves up. For, for USD yen. So I've been a bull for USD yen for quite a while now. Okay, okay, mm. got it, got it. All right, very good. So that's, right. the, that's the monthly USD versus the yen. So what's mm -hmm. next? Uh, we'll, next we'll go see uh, Euro USD. Okay. Of, yeah, the, li the most liquid pairs in Forex. All right, and this okay. is another, uh, month another monthly Another chart. monthly, yeah. Yep, okay. 
So in um, US uh, in Euro USD, um, if we just see like say the last few years trend is going down, but if you look at uh, the, the really big trend, uh, the move going down is just part of retracement of the of the move up over here that we have since um, 2000. Okay. Okay. So if we yeah, if we break it down, we we can see another five wave move. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Right. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, but the difference between the Euro USD and the USD yen before is that the correction for uh, for the Euro USD is a complex correction instead of just the ABC we saw in um, USD yen. Okay. So in in yeah in in Elliott wave a complex correction is a a correction of a, like a really big wave. So the the W over here the arrow W X and Y they have their own ABC inside of them if you break it down. Okay, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. I, I would not have seen that unless, until you pointed it out to me. <laughs> so that's okay. Wow. Um, so does this all add up to bullish or bearish? Um, I'm still. Uh, if the big time frame, uh, we can see another low in uh, according to my count. Uh, we should see um, somewhere below one uh, in the in the future. Okay. But if you're looking, uh, if you break it down to a smaller time frame, say um, daily time frame. Uh, we're only seeing three move, uh, wave three up, and then now it's forming wave four. So we should see another move up for uh, for a wave five um, of C. So we could still uh, see somewhere around one point two, one point three in the future before we go down. Okay. All right. And uh, by the way, what uh, what program or or software are you using to make these amazing charts? Uh, no, uh, no software. I do it everything by myself. It's manually done. Oh my goodness! Wow, that's that sounds like a lot of work. But for the kinds of profits you're making, it's probably worth it. <laughs> it's worth it, and you can use it as long as it's not uh, breaking any rules of Elite Wave. You can use it forever. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very good. All right. Good. So that's the uh, the euro against the dollar, and this is the daily mm -hmm. chart. Good. Good. What what else do we have? And then another one I want to show you is cable uh, GBP USD. Yep. If we look at the uh, the let me move to the monthly first. So um, I'm still very bearish on um, cable. Um, so according to my Elliott wave count, um, we're making um, move down. So we have A and then B, and then the C is not done yet because we need a five move, a five wave move for the C. Right. So we can only see one, two, three, four, and then we need to see another wave down five to complete the move. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that is the uh, monthly chart. So again, uh, you, you're not going to place any bullish bets at all, even on a weekly or daily chart at this point. No, I've been selling um, GBP USD for for a while now. Okay, okay, and you've done probably quite well because I see, uh, yeah, I, I see the big uh, financial crisis there in 2008, and then some some chop or consolidation, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, another big wave down, which you're saying is still in process. It's not finished yet. It's not finished. I think we could see um, somewhere lower. We did. Uh, I think we can see somewhere lower uh, than the 119 that we saw last time after Brexit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 115 should should be. Uh, yeah. You're saying 115 is uh, your target there for your for your bearish so, bet. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. Uh, Going to be some more more, yeah. blo more bloodshed <laughs> in the future, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, the, com the, the common theme from this um, these three charts are that um, we can see that like, um, all of them are pointing to USD bullishness, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it's, so, not, it's not coming from the weakness of, of, uh, of the British pound so much as uh, the dollar might be going... Well, it, it could be both. It could be both. But... Okay. Um, yeah, but from all the three charts that we saw, um, all are pointing to USD direction. So um, I'm thinking USD still has um, like a more bull run for, for like a couple of months later on. That's really interesting because, uh, you know, for most of 2017, the US dollar was just going down and down and down. And uh, mm -hmm. but then maybe it's bottomed out and maybe uh, an opportunity. So we're, we'll find out. Yeah. yeah, I think we could still uh, see more lower dollar for a while, but in the long term, I'm still a, a USD uh, a dollar bull for for later. On. In the long term, got it. All right. In the long term. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm learning a lot here. Uh, that's the uh, pound against the uh, dollar there. Great, great. Uh, what 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 else do we have? 
Uh, let me show you another one. It should be an um, interesting one, uh, the Euro GBP. Okay. So Euro GBP, um, I don't know. Let me erase some of the FIBO level so you can see more clearly. Okay, let me do that and then see the monthly. So in um, Euro GBP is the same. Um, I'm looking for a more a move lower a little bit over here before we see another bullish run because we have A, B and then we're still missing the big C, yeah. the wave up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, we, so I'm looking for a little bit more lower because th this is one already. Uh, two, we need A, B and then the C is not done yet. So we could see a little bit more weakness in this pair before it really, it's really going to take off. Huh. Okay. All right. It's interesting how you have waves within waves, and so you get a lot of head fakes, a lot of mm -hmm. false false breakouts, false breakdowns. Would that be accurate to say? Uh, correct. With uh, because um the big waves, I just use it for the direction. Yeah. But to trade to trade the actual trade, um, you need to break it down to a smaller wave so you can look at it. Yeah. Because even in, in, in a in a bearish wave, you know, you can still have the bullish part, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, nothing goes straight up or straight down. It's more like a staircase. That's right. More like a, a mm -hmm. staircase or, or whatever you want to call it. It's got, it's got jagged parts in it. And so you have to look at the big picture like uh, Hardianto does in order to see the overall direction. Because if you only look at the daily chart or the five-minute candlestick chart, uh, you're likely to not get the big picture, which is what we're doing here. So this is great. Good, good. All right. Yeah, you got a couple more for us? Um, yeah, actually, I have some more. Um, great. I think it'll, I want to sh really show the USD cat. Okay. Okay. So the loony. If you go to monthly, uh, we can see uh, it's moving in A, B, and C already. So the the um, correction that we saw earlier, and then we have the uh, correction wave, and then we, I think we're still going down for this. Huh. So, yeah, okay. we could see another lower somewhere around one uh, below 120 for USD cap before, um, because um, this one the structure is not that clear. So this one can be either one, two, three, or just A and B, A, B and C, and then that's it, and then done, and then we we're going up again. Uh, but so for now, for the short term, yeah, for the short term, we're uh, we're most likely to go down before we go up. Is it possible for a wave to just not finish like that? Just have A, B, and C, and that's it? Uh, what do you mean it's not finish? Like, like a, a, waves have uh, five parts. Oh, wait, but so you've got A, your B, and your C. Mm -hmm. um, so is, is there a fourth part and a fifth part, or is it just A, B, and C usually? Uh, it depends uh, if it's a corrective wave or not. Sometimes it, it, uh, the, the characteristic of the A, B, and C, and the one, two, three are quite similar. Okay. So you can't really tell the difference whether they're starting one, two, three, or uh, A, B, and A, B, C. If something like this happens, I usually trade until like the third wave or any. So I won't chase the wave, uh, wave five even if it happens because okay. we might not know whether it's going to happen or not. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but but all of these patterns, uh, the the A, B, and C pattern, it it always finishes in some form or fashion. Would you agree with that? That's right. Okay. Okay. At least that's according to Elliott Wave theory. <laughs> All that's right. that's according to theory, and then um, I've seen quite a uh, a few cases that you know that's that's the the case that that's how I trade it. Right. Uh, I, so I really completely put my trust in it. You know. Yeah. Because um, uh, I mean, trading is like really falling in love. You know. Yeah. When you fall in love with somebody, I mean, you you gotta trust that that person, right? Yeah. So yeah. So when when you're trading, you just have to trust your chart. So whatever the chart is showing you, uh, that's the way to trade it. You know, it's not what you think or what you feel. I mean, it's what right. the chart is telling you. And that that eliminates the emotions. That eliminates uh, yeah impulsive uh, actions. You know that cause us to lose money. And uh, so that that's this is great. This is great. Great, and you, you got uh, you got one or two more before we uh, talk more about your website. Um, yeah, let me show you the last one. Um, sure. Let me show you the Aussie dollar. Yep. Yeah. So the Aussie dollar uh, is showing the same structures as the others. So um, we're uh, it's still going down at the end because um, we if we break into weekly, we could see another move up over here to complete the five wave over here. Right. But. In the long term, uh, we're still going down. I think so. The USD uh, bullishness is showing again uh, in this chart. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So that that could mean. So you ex, you expect a bearish uh, a bearish future on this one? Yes, like the other um, uh, Euro USD or the cable too. Gotcha. All right. Uh, it's it's really amazing to see all the work that you put in manually, the trend lines, the uh, the Fibonacci lines. You also have the RSI down there on all these. Does that uh, figure into your calculations? Uh, yes. Um, usually, uh, when we uh, when we do uh, from wave three to wave five, the moment the momentum usually loses uh, loses uh, the move usually loses the momentum from three to five. So sometimes we'll we'll see a diversion in 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 the RSI from three to five. That's how we know the the, the wave is going to be done. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So the RSI fourteen period might be just an, an added extra uh, indicator to help you. See yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Okay. To confirm the move to see if I if my uh, counting is correct or not. Gotcha. It's good for confirmation always. Uh, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. A lot going on here. I have a, I have a better picture of what to be, what to be bullish on, what to be bearish on right now. Uh, and of course, you know, everything we're saying in this video is not investment or trading advice. Uh, everybody needs to make their own decisions. Uh, I am not a registered or licensed investment advisor. Uh, so you want to consult, uh, you know, somebody who's registered or licensed if you want investment advice. But these are ideas that you can use. And uh, mm -hmm. if people want to learn more about this, more about how you do what you do, and to get some of your trading and investing uh, concepts, uh, could they go to uh, your website, uh, which is, uh, yeah, uh, can, can they, yeah. Can, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, and actually the website doesn't offer any education um, or, uh, or analysis for it right now. Okay. Uh, for now, we're just offering a trade copier service. Because um, based on our experience, because um, uh, a lot of people was asking me about my trades and everything, and they're asking me if I provide like analysis or for a signal service, right? Right. The thing is, um, if we started a signal service, because Forex is a, is a worldwide uh, market, right? It's open 24 hours a day. Sure. So if I provide a service, because I'm based in Asia, so if I'm trading in Asian hour, uh, Asian session, uh, the people in North America are sleeping. So even if I provide the signals and everything, uh, they won't be able to execute it. Mm -hmm. And then, True. Uh, and then not all my signals are profitable, right? So if they uh, they they only ex execute whatever they can, they might end up with more losses than the than the profits because they might end up taking on um, the trades that I have uh, I'm taking a loss on. I see. So yeah. So that's why we we uh, we started the the idea of a trade copier service. So instead of me giving you signals, uh, you can just copy my trades. So wherever I execute, it's going to be executed in your account. Uh, so it can be set up automatically with their broker. Correct. And yeah, just... we uh, we have our software, so uh, we'll okay. set it up on our software, and then it'll copy uh, my account. So whatever trades I'm taking, it'll be copied on your account. Got it. Okay, and people do have to take responsibility for their own accounts. Uh, All right. So, you know, if they choose mm -hmm. to do this, they're choosing to make these trades. Uh, but you know, judging by you know, look looking at those results right now, I, I don't see any losing uh, months. So uh, even if you might uh, have a losing trade occasionally, their small losses and big wins yeah. add up to big profits over time. I mean, fifty percent on the year, uh, approximately. That's fantastic. Uh, I don't I don't see that very often. So this is this is really oh. something that uh, people can take advantage of. That way, people don't have to draw manually draw all those lines on their charts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. People no, but uh, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, with this software you are still in control of your account. I mean, if 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 you if I open a trade and it copies to your account, right? You can still close it manually if you don't like it. Yeah. 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 You can still uh, it con you're in complete control. So um, it's still your account. No matter what I do, uh, it's at the end. It's your responsibility. I mean, if I, right. you still, I don't want to uh, follow my trades, or you want to uh, uh, close it. It's up to you still. Yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's forex all stars dot com. And uh, you mm -hmm. want to go there, and as you can see, they have a blog, frequently asked questions, and they'll even explain how it works if you want to know. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, and then yeah. uh, we got some um, some requests too for the uh, we're still getting some requests for the signal service. Yeah. So um, in the future we might be starting um, the signal service soon. Cool. But uh, yeah, we haven't decided when. Um, 
but people can still follow us uh, at the at the Twitter at Force All Stars or my personal Twitter at Trader underscore Hardy. Right. Uh, over there, I still provide all the charts. I sometimes post up charts of the trades I'm going to take. So uh, if people want to learn Elliott Wave or want to take a look how I draw my charts, uh, people can still go over there and just take a look. So you are truly riding the Elliott Wave for big profits. And the uh, Twitter handles, again, at Forex All Stars, or if you want to just hone in on what Hardianto Sunoto is doing or what he's thinking, you go to Twitter, you go to handle at Trader, and then a, an underline or underscore, and then Hardy, H A R D I. That'll all be uh, on the screen and in the description of this video. Wow. Did I miss anything? Uh, is there any other contact information or anything else you want people to know? Uh, no, uh, you can just contact us uh, over the Twitter or you can email us at support at forexallstars.com. Got it. If you have any questions, mm -hmm. support at forexallstars.com. Awesome. All right. I've been speaking with Mr. Hardianto Sunoto. And uh, man, I learned a lot today. And uh, like I always say, if you could teach me something, then anybody can learn it. All right. So uh, yeah. I really appreciate it. And I, I hope to be able to connect with you uh, at a later date so we can get an update on, on how your performance is doing and how the markets are doing. So you're welcome back anytime, Mr. Hardianto Sunoto, on Looking at the Markets. Okay, thank you, David, for your time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.